In this video, we'll show you the Hard Rock Hotel, a 5-star luxury resort on the beautiful island of Penang in Malaysia. We'll take you with us on a tour of this amazing resort. We'll show you the deluxe sea view room, all the facilities that they have, and of course, all the food that we ate. At the end, we'll tell you if we think this hotel is worth it, because at Yes and Explore, we travel smarter, not harder. We needed a well-deserved break from the busy life in Bangkok, so we flew from Bangkok to the island of Penang in Malaysia. It's only a 2-hour flight and about a 35-40 to 40 minute taxi ride to get to the Hard Rock Hotel from Penang's airport. The Hard Rock Hotel is located on the northwestern side of Penang in a beach town called Batu Ferengi. We've never stayed at a 5-star themed resort like this, and I can say that we were excited. We went here also with a side quest to enjoy the Chinese New Year celebrations, but that's for the next video. So here we are at the entrance of the hotel, and once you enter the lobby, you are met with not the reception, but the concierge lobby for all your questions and bookings in and around the area. On the right side of the entrance, you can find a big seating area, which also functions as a performing area with a stage on the weekends. Once you make your way into the hotel, you are greeted by the reception desk. At the bar next to the reception, they had a little Beatles team going, starting with these Lego Beatles, and this team continued throughout the hotel. Check-in went fast and our room was waiting for us. Upon making a reservation, the hotel had a special deal that if you book a room, they would upgrade you to a higher room type if you ask them to do so in the comment box. So in our case, we booked a pool view deluxe room and we were upgraded to a sea view deluxe room. Our room was located on the fourth floor and was near the end of this rather long hallway. For our room, we paid 512 Malaysian ringgit per night and that includes breakfast and taxes. So let's knock and see who's there. As always, we're greeted by the lovely Lawrence. You can immediately feel the rock team throughout the room. As we step into the bathroom, it was a little bit cramped, but not too bad. Right here, you would expect the mirror to be, but it's not. It's right over here, or is it? If we push this to the side, we see whole room and also Lawrence who's staring outside the window looking for more likers and subscribers. So if you like this video or aren't subscribed to our channel yet, you know what to do. The final part of the bathroom is the shower which was quite spacious and had good water pressure and comes with the standard shower amenities. Then when we leave the bathroom we have the closet right in front of us and it has all the things you would expect there to be such as a safe, Hard Rock Hotel bathrobes, and also an iron with an ironing board. And if we move to the left, we see Awkward Lawrence. Moving along, you have your complimentary daily water bottles, tea, and empty fridge, just the way we like it, so we can put our own stuff in there. Let's move along the rest of this rocking room and you can see it's really big and purple. The room comes with a king size bed that was really comfortable mostly due to the mattress topper that was on top of it. And the hotel also put in a nice welcome message on the TV with our name on it, which is a nice touch. They also had this really cool feature where you can order a guitar with amplifier and headphones for free. And apart from that, you can also get a free yoga mat to use during your stay. And you can scan a code for a special room playlist that you can blast through this little speaker right here. The room was spacious and also comes with a comfortable chair as well as a desk. Now it's time to see the view from our room, which gave us a wonderful view of the resort and Batu Ferengi Beach. And as you can see, the hotel pool goes all the way from the left to the right side, right next to the beach, uh, but we will take a look at that in a bit. The view from the balcony was amazing during the day, and at night you can see a beautiful sunset. So let's have one more overview of the room during the day, and a look at how it looks at night with purple lights. Now it's time to take you on a tour of the hotel facilities. 
The hotel has an open concept style, so before you know it, you're outside at the pool. And at the desk you could pick up some towels and you can also rent these one or two person tubes for a day and guess what we did. Moving on, they had this whole fun kit side with slides and water park things, many places to relax in the shadow and definitely enough beds during low season. Then we make our way to the shack, a swimmer bar as demonstrated by me. We stayed mostly on this side as this was the nicest side of the pool and it also had a basketball ring in the water. At the very end of the resort they also have a spa called the Rock Spa and it has private cabanas and also beach access. We didn't use the spa as the price was on the high side, especially compared to Thailand. But this is what the spa looks like. It has private beds with a sea view and also cabanas for private massages. Next up were these super fun private cabanas you could rent. And they cost around 60 ringgit for the whole day. And that gives you two lounge chairs, um, a safe, a ceiling fan, electricity, and it included water and a fresh fruit platter. We indulged a little and also ordered fries with a view. One of the really cool features in this pool was the underwater music zone, which means you go underwater and you can hear rock music being played. We really recommend taking a cabana as it's worth your money and you can put away all your belongings safely. Moving along the backside of this resort, you finally arrive at the beach. They had a private gate only for hotel guests and you can walk up with this great view of the beach. There were a few external parties that offered water sports activities, but none of these are offered through the hotel. Swimming made us hungry, so we tried out the Lenya Pizzeria Outdoor, which is near the pool. We chose the chicken rendang spring rolls, a diavola pizza and some green stuff to be healthy. The spring rolls were delicious, the pizza was pretty decent, but not very spicy. Moving on back to the pool, you can see that they also have a kids club there. And right next to that, you'll find the gym. It's a nicely sized hotel gym with enough equipment for a decent workout. And it's better than most hotel gyms. At the gym, they supply towels and free water. Plus, when you're doing cardio, you can watch other people swim. Yes, you have no choice but to watch. Also, on the other side of the hotel, they have a teens club where young people can hang out and play pool or practice their guitar skills. On the second floor, you'll find a business center where you can use a computer or print stuff that you might need. But enough of the hotel building. Let's have a look at the famous buffet at the Hard Rock Hotel. Even though it was low season, the breakfast buffet was really busy at times. But the food was refilled really quickly and there was no waiting in line. Alright, let's take a look at the buffet. Who doesn't like steam buns filled with meat? They had sayur lode, long tong rice, more veggies. And next up is Malaysia's best noodle dish, char koi tio. A must eat when visiting. The buffet also served the hotel's famous hard rock fried rice, which was not bad, but this cinnamon apple crumble with vanilla sauce, that was really good. The bread at buffets is usually a little meh, and right here it's also a pass. Although the only thing that saved it was toasting it on the grill. If you want to be semi-healthy in the morning, they also offered a salad bar, yogurt and freshly cut fruits. Next up at the buffet is Malaysia's number one dish, nasi lemak. And Lawrence could eat that every day, it's so good. And oh, well, we found the salad. Next to the salad you'll also find some coconut milk steamed rice and a big bowl of sambal. And this last bowl always contained a different protein and on the day that we filmed it, it was chicken. Very good.
In the middle, they had some French pastries and other sweet things. The toppings were nice, but we usually fill up on the warm food in the morning and most likely we'll add some fruit to that. The staff was very friendly and attentive. They cleaned the tables fast and they were there to help you out. And now I hear you thinking, this is it. But no, there is actually a lot more food. On this side, they had cheese and especially the feta cheese was a big surprise to us, but very welcome. Malaysian kids love cereal because these things were empty a lot. Is it true though? Is cereal a kid's breakfast in Malaysia? Let us know in the comments. It's nice though that at this buffet you can be as healthy or unhealthy as you want. Spoiler alert, we did a little bit of both. This side of the buffet was always the same with two types of congee, a noodle station with toppings, This thing that some people call pasta. Lots of beans and two types of ketchup. The last part here is the egg station where you can order any kind of egg, even poached eggs. We ate a lot of eggs and we added feta cheese to it, which is delicious. We are almost at the end of the buffet. Here you have two coffee machines and in the middle a frozen yogurt machine. The idea was a 10 out of 10, but actually eating it was sadly just a 3 out of 10. It was too watery and flavorless. Now we're moving on to the last part of the buffet, the juices. And as per usual, they are okay. They are a little too sweet for our taste, so we always stick with water and coffee in the morning. As you can see, the restaurant itself has two big open spaces with lots of tables. Here is some food that we tried and overall, it was quite a good breakfast with a wide selection. They really had something for everyone. One of the biggest benefits of staying at the Hard Rock Hotel is the Hard Rock Cafe. And as a guest of the hotel, you get a 10% discount on the food. It's really set up like you're used to just like any other hard rock cafe you can find. We went on a not so busy evening, but who cares, we wanted bad food. Just look at the giant double steak burger that Lawrence had, it was glorious. And we decided to share their famous brownie dessert and oh my god, it was so good. Just look at it, it was enough for a family of four, so we ate a lot. As a bonus, we came back a few days later and we had the apple cobbler dessert with caramel, which was also very good. Of course, the food is priced a little higher than, let's say, in the rest of Malaysia or other sides of the island, but that's to be expected of this chain hotel slash restaurant. All right, now you've truly seen everything of the hotel there is to see. We like the spacious rooms, the lagoon style pool and the team of the hotel. We really enjoyed our stay here and we would stay here again, but only in the low season as the prices can get pretty high in the high season and we wouldn't like it as much if it were super busy. If you made it this far, we want to thank you so much for watching our review of the Hard Rock Hotel in Penang. In our next video, we'll go to Georgetown and check out the Gen Hotel by Shangri-La. If you want to see that and more, don't forget to subscribe to us at Yes and Explore. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.